Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, 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 everyone. How are we doing? Thank you very much for joining. You guys are awesome. Welcome to the broadcast. If you want to see more of my work, do check out my Instagram at Mr. A Sing. That's M R A S I G H. And also, do check out my Instagram. Hello, hello. How's it going, Lisa? Hope you will. I've been saying this on the odd occasion. I am trying to get back onto Periscope and do more art. Uh, I've life has taken over, and there's a lot of very awesome big projects I'm working on. Uh, but we're going to be back. We're doing more art, and I'm doing the second part of this. This is the first part, which is a cool bunny eye. What's up, Sully? What's up, Pat? This is the first part, and now we're doing a second part on some very cool paper. Get that? How's it going? So we're using these pastel colors. These are brand new pastel color pens. Now, if you guys know my work, <coughs> you know my work is very vibrant, very colorful. Like this. So you can the colors I use are normally not pastel, are normally quite colorful. So it's really interesting working in pastel only. And kind of creating some artwork out of that. So that's what we're doing today. How's everyone doing? <laughs> My armpits are very vibrant. Sully from Palestine. You're a very odd creature. But thanks for being here. Right. Let's create some art on here. Now, I don't know what I'm going to be creating. So we're going to freestyle doodle. And let's see, let's see where we go from there. Hopefully everyone's all good, having fun, you know, chilling, relaxing and all that. The interesting thing is when you've got these colours to play with, it's kind of limited in terms of what you can create. As in, the colours aren't always going to represent reality, but none of my work represents reality anyway, you know. So, we've got these colours that we're going to play with. We've also got the smaller versions. That we're gonna use. We're not using white. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can create with this. So I think as we've got like a rabbit in there, I feel like doing some kind of bird. Um, so let's let's just get this out of the way. Let's just put this here. I think I want to start with the thicker pens. So, if we're going to do a colour of bird, what colour shall we choose? What bird? So, the bunny was in, like, that pink colour. So, I think we want two different colours of birds. I think we can do um, maybe blue. Hey, thanks for the super pass. Hey, what's up, Joseph? You good? Um, we can also use what other colour? We can use. I like that colour actually. That colour's a nice colour. Two kind of similar shades of colours blue and teal. What's the official colour on this? Aqua green. Hello, what's up, live from France? Sky blue, yeah. <coughs> so the last time I was on Periscope. I wasn't feeling well. I had a cold. So, but guys, some very cool stuff has been happening. Very, very cool stuff. Um, just like leading a lot of mentoring stuff up north, um, working on some very big art projects. Recently finished a campaign with Mazda. I did share it on my Instagram. Um, Mazda will be sharing some more work as well, which I can't wait to share with you guys as well. And, uh, oh, here's another thing, guys. You know my wallaby? Who here seen my... Hey, thanks for super parts. Uh, Life and uh, Joseph, you guys are awesome. Who here has seen the wallaby sculpture that I, I created, I designed? Um, a few months ago. It was, in the, it was on the Isle of Man. So it got auctioned off for charity yesterday, I think, or the day before. And guess how much my wallaby sculpture raised... For charity. Guess how much you sold at auction if anybody doesn't know. No, wait, or should just tell you? I might just tell you. It sold at auction for a fantastic aloha. 16,000 pounds. 
16161600, which is insane. So I'm really happy with the fact that it, it raised a great amount for charity. And it was really weird watching it live. There was a whole bidding war going on over it. <coughs> Sorry, guys, still got me have a cough. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is, I think, thank you very much. Uh, let's 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 just start to doodle. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is this, that, that. We can have that. Let's say the black kind of curve there. Okay, cool. So we've got that. I think what we're going to do is we are going to create. Whenever you create any uh, artwork, you create it as it is, but then. When you scan it in, obviously, and when you when you want to take it to a design element, you have you tweak it so you kind of bring certain colors out, you drop some colors back, you maybe put a, a filter, a layer on top, or maybe put a shape around it. I don't know. It's just I'll I'll, I'll throw a few things together just because it it'd be cool to see from I'm curious, and I'll send it in, and you can ch choose to use it if you want. You don't need to. No texture. Okay. Cool. Do you like Posca fans, Casey? Oh, thank you very much, Casey. It's very nice of you to say. So, this is what I did, yes, uh, not yesterday, last week, I think. So, what I do, <laughs> not what I do, that's weird, um, but I get sent random uh, products, sometimes by art brands, and they sent me pastel colour pens, and I've never used pastel colour pens, um, and I decided to create this, which is very, very cool. And then I felt ill, and I haven't been on, on Periscope since. Um that's what happens when you run around, do a hundred million things at once. You don't really look after yourself. Typical, eh? I added stuff on top. Yes, Laura. Is that Twitter? What's up, Danny? Tutti Fruity. Yeah, I've not seen the password. Yeah, it's brand new. What's up, Sean? Nah, don't worry about it, Casey. It's all good. You know what? The thing is, though, I do run a hundred miles per hour doing loads of different things and working on different projects around the UK. And sometimes what we don't do is take the time to relax and chill out and look after yourself doing so sometimes your body's like all right stop chill out maybe sleep a little bit so it's always good to listen to your body yeah so these are the pastel pens um normally colors tutti frutti danny you'll always be known as the tutti frutti you should know that by now um normally the colors that I use, that I like to use, are these kind of colors. So you know these oranges, these oranges, these reds, um, these kind of teals, greens, blues. These are kind of the colors I like to, um, I like to use, and like the vibrant sh shades, and even like these type of vibrant colors. But then what's really funny is that when you got these kind of, when you got these colors, so like that is quite dull to that, and the fluorescent that is kind of out there the pinks well even got yeah i do like the organization even my little pens here so you've got all your pencil crayons you got your fine liners you got all your ink pens right here and then some more puskers up there big ones um yeah anyway i just thought i'd show you some of that <laughs> once his oh yeah what my brother did do that no you know what I was doing a video ah oh, come on <laughs> I I do like to be organized but you know what like I do I'm very good at being organized but then I do also feel like being very very messy so art all right take it easy Sean what art does art helps me to get get a bit messy even though I like to kind of be a bit calm about it as well I'm good Sean I missed your message. Hopefully you're good. Uh, <laughs> I'm leave it, getting ignored. No, no, Sean, I was showing uh, my pens. So what happens on, on live streaming is that when you're doing something, you tend to read comments later on and catch up. Um, it doesn't mean that if you don't re respond to a comment straight away in the moment that you're being ignored. It happens. You, you scroll up. 
which is good because back in the days you couldn't actually scroll up and read comments so it's good I'm an, I know I'm not an architect I'm a I'm a designer slash artist now do I like urbanization in what in what sense as in like from an architectural point of view or from a uh, transformation overtaking cities redevelopment kicking people out of the houses gentr gentrification what type of urbanization are you talking about please feel to ignore me okay, that's fine. you can wait or retype messages around here yeah yeah i think it's um what social media tends to do to all to people is um it decreases our patience it's, it's a natural thing unfortunately the society that we live in yeah, patience is one and a card and uh yeah it's, it's kind of a, a feature which is uh less used and less practice and the more we use social media the less patience we have and when, anytime we go especially onto a live format like this if we don't uh, I don't know, get answered, we feel like we're left out or be, being ignored and we take it quite seriously and we take it quite personal. It should never ever be like that. Um, you should kind of be joining, yes, the whole conversational thing is, is brilliant, but you should be joining any broadcast uh, because of what has been shown, what has been shared, have a conversation with other people, which is brilliant. That's quite cool. That's really, I think, I feel like we need to have a branch. We will have a branch. Shall we have a branch? Hey, what's up, Sook? Oh, man, my comments are finished again. Okay, here's another thing, guys. Sometimes my comments don't show on my on my computer, so I'm having to look up on, on here. Oh, it is nice. Uh, it does decrease our patience. I've noticed this, yes. Uh, if people don't get in immediate response, they leave. Yeah, which is interesting. Uh, maybe you have some portrait or you don't draw it. I do do portrait, but I find portrait artwork very boring, so I don't do it. Yes, a branch. I'm obsessed with birds. Will this become a print for sale? Uh, here comes the excuses. Um, this probably won't be a, a print. I will just sell the original. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I will produce a print. I don't know. We'll see how it goes first. Um, but guys, look at the paper. I've never... So that was the first time I drew on this type of paper, which is, I'm not sure if you can even see, it's cord. So it's like, can you hear that? It's like slightly corrugated. It's got like texture in it. It's not easy to draw on, but it's very thick card. Yeah, it's very strange uh, material to work on, but um, I thought, why not? I'm more like the excited person in the crowd raising my hands. Me, me, me. <laughs> I'm seeing, yeah, exactly. The thing, right? If you want to be known and heard, there's many ways you can do that. Like keep repeating the same thing <laughs> until you do. It's, it is permanent, yes. Eventually it will be permanent. It's water-based with pigments, which make it permanent. Or I can spray it with um, types of varnish like this. You can spray it with this, which is a general purpose high gloss varnish and that locks it in and makes it permanent. Yeah, like that. See, I just noticed tutti frutti. This would be amazing. This would be amazing as fall art. You know what? I am. I need to release my fall art print this this month. Who's seen last month's? <coughs> this was last month's. It's um, a peacock, but an abstract peacock, and it hasn't been stuck glued down yet. Hence, the reason why it's lifting up. But this is uh, last month's. And what I did with last month's is I've sold quite a few of these because they're all one-offs. Normally, um, normally, I do like, uh, like for instance, like one colors, or yeah, so like using one colors, not multiple colors. And um, but what I decided to do for this month is. I decided well, last month, sorry, to just basically use different textures with a peacock artwork. And it's quite cool. <coughs> yeah, yeah, it's cool. Hey, that's my, oh, your name is Newton. 
it's uh, part of Lizzie's uh, multinational business. So I, the type of art that I do is intricate ink art using uh, different types of medium. So I use paint, ink, uh, paint pens, and um, spray paints. So the other ones in this kind of collection is... Uh, let's see. I need to post a lot of these out tomorrow. Uh, no, sorry, Monday. Because a lot of these are sold. Here's another one. In that face that you saw in the other print, I put that face. The glow in the dark was probably more after hearing about how many days it's, it's taken.
creating art, mentoring, teaching.
here behind this in fact let's just fill that up right there let's get another one here right there just like behind that we just need a few overlapping okay cool so we got that which is cool um let's now focus on this little area we want this so this is kind of going to go in fact no i want this also no it doesn't matter it's fine i want this to go out off the page off the page so um in fact i want this branch to split and go this way yeah the cough is hanging on uh cold is or cold's gone it was this week was uh a bit annoying because it really slowed me down even though i had like a hundred meetings this week it felt like but the cough is still there that should hopefully go next week but with me i'm just trying to like get like do a lot more art as well like a lot of the projects i'm involved in are um like organizing mentoring programs and a lot of public speaking and a lot of very very cool stuff very very cool stuff so i always need to make sure i get time to just create art you know so something about not knowing your wingspan till you take the leap of faith coming to mind wow i like that you know what i like the idea of a wingspan you know the whole the the, the word wingspan wingspan has so many like definitions and meanings you know what's your wingspan or a physical bird's wingspan i like that you know what lizzie i'm gonna call this artwork wingspan thanks for the inspiration perfect name I'd love to see you draw a wing with all the decorations and feathers. Yeah, that would be very cool. Maybe another one of these I'll do, a, or maybe another A3 artwork, I'll do a, a wing. Just a, just a wing on its own. And like, add detail and texture and stuff. That would be quite cool, actually. I feel like this branch here needs to split and then it's quite thin and I need to get rid of this this a little bit. So what I need to do is Hey Amy, thanks for the super hearts. You're awesome. Um, red dots come out. Yeah, that needs to be a little bit more thicker. Okay, just kind of I'm introducing a bit of a branch here, you know. So, and then we also need to make it a little bit.
let's plug you guys. Make a paneer pagora. Like, they make it really badly. How's your art going, Suck? You made some earlier? Yes. All right. Did you? It's not easy to make Pani Pagora because you kind of need to... Um, the best... I'll tell you the best Pani Pagora, how you make one, right? Let me... Let me... Let me... I need to find some paper. Hey, where's some paper? Best way to make a Pani Pagora? You ready? This is a technical drawing right now. You have a rectangle of paneer. Then you get another rectangle of paneer. This might look like ice cubes, but it's not. Okay, then you get some amazing spice masala is called right it makes sure you do cook it make it properly right you put it into the middle that goes onto that that goes onto that then you wrap the whole thing in batter the whole thing in that represents batter and then you shallow fry it and that goes into that <laughs> <laughs> that's like if, but again the, 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 the masala that you make has to be on point is this picture here you know what sort of I was, I was supposed to be doing a picture today I completely forgot what day we are what we are what day we're at okay so who here wants to make some paneer pagoras for me I'm very good at making paneer uh, curry like, I'm like the Don. I made it earlier today, by the way. So if anybody wants to come around and have some paneer, let's do it. It's, yeah, it's green. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a color green. You are right. Nah, yo. Yo, Doreen. Doreen. How, what is your name? Doreen. Every time I hear that Doreen, I'm like, she's very Doreen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're not drained. You have some left over. Oh. Drain, drain, drain. Where's that from? Drain. That's quite unique. Where is that from? You've not done that's not the first time. When I first, when I read that fast, I, that's, that's exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> yes. So, oh wait, wait! I missed a comment up, up there. What did you say? Uh, you need to come here and go to my favorite amazing home cook in your food. That's very cool. Although Lizzie, if there's one place that can recommend good Indian food, it's Birmingham. <laughs> it's derived from Persian word, which means pearl. Ah, oh, very cool. Drain. I've never heard of that before. That's a very nice name. But isn't Drain something else? What is Drain? Um, I'm coming to try you. You make when I'm back. Alright, safe. That's fine. Yeah, come round. Come round to mine. I'll make paneer. We'll have paneer and naan and stuff. Then we can, uh, we'll be stopped and then we can create art. How does that sound? Oh, yeah, drain that's a fruit. Not many people named the kid Paul, though. Well, I mean, there are some very interesting names going out right now. So, Pearl is, uh, is like normal compared to quite a lot of the names. Just be surprised nobody calls you oyster. Like your parents was like, you know what? 
even though you're a pearl, your bloody hard work to crack open and get that beauty inside. <laughs> I can imagine a, t- a parent saying that. They're like, hey, we called you pearl, yeah, but you're bloody hard work. <laughs> Yeah, drain is a is a fruit. Yeah, with one R. Now I said I I get. Did it rain today? <laughs> did it rain? <laughs> Do rain? Oh man, this is brilliant. But it also depends where, which like area, which country you're from. You said Durain with two R's, right? Which is Arabic, Persian, as you said. I'm in Manchester, so of course it's raining every day, yes. Especially now, man, the weather is terrible right now. Manchester, good old Manchester. I'm in Manchester next week. I'm in Manchester all the time now. Manchester stink. The flesh has an ambrosial, ambrosial taste. Wow. <coughs> oh, <laughs> I think you meant the fruit. I just went to have a look as I was like, "Oh, Lizzie really likes the the fruit. Like she's a big fan." Hey, what's up, Love Kill? Oil painting as we speak. Oh, oil painting. That's very cool. What are we oil painting? Yeah, it's nasty smell, yeah. I do want to try the fruit, but I'm a fan of you all. Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate it. I need to tweak that foot a little bit. A new landscape above the sea. A new landscape above and below the sea. Ah, cool. So you got the land and then the sea. Ah, very cool, very cool. You know what, uh, Sook? You should, you should apply for all these uh, sculpture works as well, you know? Like, you never know, you might get get them. Um, the Cambridge Cows is gone. So you can't do that one anymore. Um, I think the hairs for Southend are still... Oh, I'm using the wrong... No, oh, I am using the wrong colour. Oops. We don't have starfish. They have starfish fruit in the UK. They're so nice. You know what? I have tried the starfish fruit. Uh, but a long time ago. They are very cool. Like, we don't have... I mean, we do have certain tropical fruits, but they are in season. They are seasonal. Hey, so you're in Wolverhampton, aren't you? The sour one. Well, it's, it's the starfish shape. So it's like, is it yellowy colour? No. It's travel. Well, you can get them to cover your travel costs, you know. Well, sometimes that happens normally. But then you do get commissioned at the end of it. So. Hello from Holland. Yeah, yeah, it's really sour. Maybe I can't remember the taste because it's such a long time ago. Light cheese is a nice fruit, yeah. Gorgeous floral, but sweet kind of tea flavor. It is, yeah. I'm not a massive, I'm not a fan of lychee um, juice, but the, the fruit itself is nice. And the spiky shell is big in India as well, you know, in the South Asian countries. Hello, corn. I don't have my call on, do I? 
I do. Um, unfortunately, I'm not accepting calls, or maybe I don't know. Shall I? I didn't realize I even had it on. To tell you the truth, when I'm doing artwork, I very rarely put the calls on because I'm like trying to create something and uh, and chat. So. The uh, the whole call element's a bit disrupted. Why do I call uh, uh, wolves? Oh, why, uh, why, 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 why do you say about wolves? Oh yeah, I'll be uh, working with Wolverhampton Uni soon. I was meant to be in Wolves uh, last week. I was meeting the dean and the director, but uh, one person couldn't make it, so we just had a uh, phone call. But definitely, it's in the plans. They want me to do some teaching there at Wolves. Have you had a fruit called falsy? In, uh, no, what's it? What, what's it look like? And uh, Christy, unfortunately, I'm not going to be accepting any calls today. But next time, when I'm doing like a face-to-face -face little chat, feel free to call in. Oh, falsa is in P H A L S A. It's a species of Gewea. Gewea. It's found in Varanasi, India. It was taken by Buddhist scholars to other Asian countries and the rest of the world. It's a distinct species. Well, that's a very cool color. I've never ever. I, I don't know what these are. I've never. I've never even seen them before. That's very cool. Yeah, no, I haven't had one of those. Have you? Like what? Like what? What do they taste like? Uh, it's a shrub or a small tree grown to eight meters. The leaves are broad rounded. The fruit is edible juice, 5 to 12 millimeters diameter, purple to black when ripe. Uh, it's ex extensively cultivated for its sweet and sour acidic fruit, which are sold in the market during summer months under the name Falsa. Oh, yeah, you are right. It's under the name, it's sold and named F A L S A. The sherbet or squash is prepared from the fruit pulp by mixing it with sugar. And use it as a stomach cooling agent. What? I've never, I've never heard of that before. That's cool. They do look like blueberries. They're so nice. Can you get in the UK? I'm guessing you can. If you've said you can get it. So uh, we're just Durian above you uh, is talking about fruits. <laughs> Jam Jamun Jamun Sonam Sonam uh, I think uh, the word Dilak is a nice word Nice name You should call yourself Dilak Dilak is basically That thing that you put on your head That people put in their head From Jambuda Village Wow Jambuda Village Yo Jambuda Village Looks like The shiz Oh We also found Um we found uh, Sonam's uh, uncle. Sonam's uncle, right there. Dinesh Lamba from Jambuda. That's Sonam's second uncle, right there. Uh, come on, right there. That's Sonam's family. Uh, that's Sonam eating with his with her family. There, Sonam getting water. I saw him cutting the grass. I saw him take, going for a walk. I saw him's birthday. Oh, saw him got told off there. Uh oh, saw him got told off. Saw him, you shouldn't be eating that cheese. You are from. You told me you're from Jambuda. Saw him. I found a picture of you being told off. What did you do? Saw him. Share that story with us. Go on. You have to share that story with us. What did you do to get told off like that? Like, 
Who did you just hear calling a bond dash? <laughs> Why are you like? Who are you calling a poor bonder? That's not nice. Sona from Jambuda. Sona from Jambuda. You should go. Should, you shouldn't be calling anyone a poor bonder. Just someone. Just because someone's not well off doesn't mean that they're a poor bonder. Nah. White people, do you guys know what Bandar is? Sonam right now just called everyone a poor monkey. Nah. Like, how can you do that? All we're doing is supporting you with your with your heritage and your, your city and your village. You know, which is Jamundar. Jamundar. J- no, Jam... Jambuda, sorry, Jambuda. And you called everyone a bloody monkey? What's going on? We can find more pictures if you want. Oh, Jambuda. Swan, we found your your future husband. Look. Mahesh, Mahesh, is that is that who you're marrying? We just found it. Jambuda, Gujarat, India. Swanam uh is going to be marrying this person. Cool. Look how cool this guy is. So cool. Oh, no. Let's add some eyes in. Let's add some big eyes. 
when she comes. No, back she's home. Uh, booking a ticket to go back home. She misses her home so much. It's reminiscing, you know. We've reminisced. Oh, she's, she's gonna be, she's gonna be top shelf Jambuda. <laughs> top shelf Jambuda, coming near you. Coming to a a tomato truck near you. <laughs> I think we've uh, we've made some good progress in this in this scope with this one. We we started off with just a random shape, and we've ended up doing with something quite cool. I'm just adding the shape, so no, I don't want to add any too, any detail really in this scope. But what we can do is we can start to add some like uh, little little cherries, and the cherries are going to like be hanging, so. Oh no! No, no, not that color. Wrong color. Where's the other color gone? Here, this one. So we've got. But actually, let's have a mixture of colors. Sure, oh, Sonam. I thought we all thought that you were gonna go. <laughs> These are Jambuda berries. Yes. These are Jambuda berries. Sonam, I'm adding Jambuda berries to your from your home village. What do tomatoes have to do with it? I'm so confused. What do tomatoes have to do? Shelly, I am just as confused as you are. What do tomatoes have to do with it? Hello. Hey, Jambuda, what's the top five things to do in, uh, in Jambuda? I mentioned, I didn't mention tomatoes, did I? Why did I mention tomatoes? Oh, tomato truck. Sorry, Shelly. Sonam came from Jambuda, which is in Gujarat in India. She came to the UK when she was young on a tomato truck. That's what I meant. And we found her. Look, this is, this is Sonam when she came over to the UK, right there. That's Sonam when she came to the UK, um, and this is this is Sonam's future husband right there from Jambuda. Jambuda. Oh yeah, number one cut grass. <laughs> hey, what's up, pups? How's it going? Birdies now. Yes, we've gone for a bunny.
one goes and Jan read it, you you have to answer. But the thing is, right, I think she's using WAP. Uh, Jan Buda goes using, oh no, it managed to connect through. Hello, uh, Jan Buda. <laughs> um, can I help you, Jan Buda? How's it going? Uh, Jan Buda, you, you're cutting out. It looks, you're, you're, you, have you got a cow which is generating electricity for you? Jambuda, do you have a monkey generating the electricity in Jambuda because we can't hear you? All right, guys, Jambuda is a very small village in Gujarat, and uh, it looks like they don't have 4G there. It looks like they have WAP. Does anybody here remember WAP? Jambuda, I, we can't hear a single word you're saying. Jambuda, uh, poor Vander, <laughs> poor Vander, uh, from Jambuda. Can you call back? So, we tried to get someone in from uh, a very small village in India called Jambuda. It didn't work, and um, let's see, let's see if she can. Uh, I don't know, crank that electric generator up a little bit and uh, and amplify the Wi-Fi or the the WAP, whatever she's got. <laughs> going on. She's going to kill me after this. Okay. Let's, uh, we could actually use white. We're having hanging berries, by the way. <laughs> Lala, you are very close. A five-year-old drew this. So you have to give them more credit than that. It's actually a five-year-old. Brilliant, isn't it? I think it's fantastic for a five-year-old. I mean, like, look, she's in the US. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm kind of glad that she's in the US. Because <laughs> all of a sudden I'd be like, hey, I'm on my way to Birmingham. <laughs> And knock you out. I never said that this five-year-old was a kid. Lala. Stop being a Lala. And appreciate the five-year-old's epicness. It's a genius right here. And every moment we had stolen was a feeling. Cause it never mattered where we were. Cause we were falling in love. We're doing some, uh, like, the cherries kind of hanging down a little bit. Uh, so we'll have some hanging here, have some hanging here. We'll have some up here. And we'll have some here as well, actually. One of my favourite. Yes, exactly. This five-year-old is an epic broadcaster, by the way, just saying. He might not be uh, very good at being a regular broadcaster, but it's still pretty decent. That's what I'm saying. So let's kind of, uh, let's add some here as well. So we've got some here, and then here, and here, and we've also got here, and then here. Right there, a bit there, and there, and then maybe there, and then it touches up there, and then there, and there, and then that goes there. Sort it, sort it. Okay, that's cool because then that adds a completely different dimension now to this. Completely different. What we could also do is maybe have a leaf on top so we can maybe add some layers, but let's just add these little uh, cherries type of things maybe here. In fact, we could even have them. We could even have them. So imagine if it was like a bit. Like there. See, it's hanging off there. So hanging off there. Nowhere! Mr. N. Ryan. Totally changed. I love it though. Both looked amazing, but this is better somehow. Yeah. It's, um, what he's doing now is just adding some dimension. And obviously, because we haven't added any detail yet properly. So we're going to be adding more detail. This is kind of like, like, the start of a little bit of small detail. There's going to be someone here as one well, of the birds. 
Hello. Thanks. Okay, so let's go and go and up, let's go up here and let's start adding uh, some circles up here. One, two, three, four. How many? Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Has to be more than eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen. Seventeen it is. Okay, so we've got 17 there. 33. Maybe we'll add some more somewhere else. Okay, so we've got 17 there. Uh, and then what we'll do is we're just going to get some of these. Or should we just keep this as it is? And then there's just kind of hints of thingies here. Serendipitous. And the second question is, should we do some detail in white or should we do it in black? Because it just looks so cool, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the outlines in white as well. Yeah, that looks awesome. Like what I can do now is I, it allows me to add some very cool texture and bring it alive. By using white. Yeah. I don't care what you say to me. Yeah, I don't know.
Okay. All three and everything. That was meant to be a. Uh, that was meant to be. No, I think I should actually know. If that's the case, that could. Oh, that could. That could be all brought out. There could be texture and shadows. There could be texture in the entire. All the down the trees. I think I should add some details now, because like I don't think it's now a, a shadow. Uh, sorry, a silhouette. I was meant to record a video of this one. Oops, I forgot to record a video. Time lapse. Spartan, what do I do with them? Um, these, I, I normally sell, I sell one of my art.
sometimes I like my art so much I keep them. Most of the time I sell it. I sell it. I do really like uh, the white on on this paint. No, I do really like it. Do you think I should do more of these? This style of work, like illustration type, where we literally limit ourselves to these pastel colors only, like just these colors on on dark paper. Maybe we can have different types of color paper. Yeah. How do you price it? I price comes with experience. Maybe. So, like, you'll learn how to price your work as uh, the more experience you get. have stopped on my uh, on my screen do you use goulash paint goulash is a type of food this isn't goulash polish <laughs> yeah thanks lizzie i'm gonna end it here i've been live streaming for a good few hours how long i've been up for a good few hours now um i'm gonna end it here and uh we'll finish this tomorrow i'll, I'll come on tomorrow hopefully and uh yeah, we'll finish it off tomorrow. The whole thing will be done tomorrow. Uh, so tomorrow, the plan is to add detail in the in the trees and then the leaves. And then it's done. A beautiful art. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. And frame it tomorrow, yeah? Yep. I'll finish it and put it in a, in a similar black. Uh, this is a brushed frame. See this here? It's a brushed frame. Real nice brushed frame. So I'll put in a similar frame tomorrow. So we, we can see, because obviously when, once it's in a frame, uh, it takes off about half a centimeter, maybe about three millimeters off the edge. So we'll have a look, see how that looks as well. This one, I'm not sure how much this is going to be. Um, once it's finished, I put it on the website and then uh, then you'll see. You kind of work it out based on like time and all that kind of stuff or whatever it is. So you'll see. Spartan. But Spartan, if you do want to see more of my work, just do check out my the link in my bio. It's inkanima.com. That's I-N-K-A-N-I-M-A.com. Inkanima.com. And you can see a lot more of my work. And there's work on there which currently you can buy, including the current uh, uh, the current range of animal art like these. But A3 prints and, and framed. Awesome. All right, guys, take care. Regards from Mexico. Uh, what type of markers you use? I use Posca markers. These are the pens called Posca. Uh, they're very, very good paint pens. All right, guys, take care. Have a beautiful night, evening, morning, wherever you guys are in the world. And I'll speak to you guys very, very soon. It's been an awesome broadcast. Absolutely loved it. It's been fun. Uh, and I really like what we've created so far. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.